Good morning, Quadcopter 101. And before we get started, let's get the shout outs out of the way. Today's a two for shout out. Uh, and the shout outs go to Mr. Rafino6 and Tarantula Feeder. Both were first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus one's a shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And I have a neat new drone for you today. This is the new uh, MJX Bugs 2 SE. Um, I think the SE means special edition. What's special about the special edition? Well, it looks like the old uh, original Bugs 2, except it is now silver. You got a silver drone. And what else is different between this and the original Bugs 2? Well, now it has follow me capability. It has circle me capability. And now it has also waypoints capability. And all, all of that is done via the app the Bugs Go app for the Bugs 2 SE. Now the Bugs Go app can be used with lots of drones, but when you use it with the Bugs 2 SE, it gives you the added ability of follow me, circle me, and waypoints. Those are the big new features for the Bugs 2. As with the original Bugs 2, it's brushless motor drone. Um, it uses the same, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the same battery as the original Bugs 2, except it's got it's in silver color now. And also it has the 1080p camera as the original Bugs 2 and records video directly to micro SD cards lot on the side of the drone um, other than that you know it's pretty much the same drone now the controller the controller is pretty much the same uh, the buttons you got on it uh, the back buttons are inoperative they have no function with this drone uh, the antennas are fake as with all the MGX transmitters they seem to be fake decoration MGX remove these you know you're not fooling anybody <laughs> just get rid of these they're, they're just uh, added uh, distractions for the uh, controller you know uh, especially if you're doing Wi-Fi with it they get in the way but what else the buttons we got on it this is your unlock button this is to start and stop your motors this red one here you also if you lose bind with the controller if the controller doesn't bind with the drone just press down that button hold it while turning on the uh, controller and it will put the controller in bind mode so that when you turn on the drone it will automatically bind to it you only need to do that once in all future flights all you need to do is turn on the controller and it will automatically bind this button here is for automatic takeoff automatic landing this button here is one key return to home and landing where it will come back and land where it took off from you can start and stop video by holding down this button here or take a photo by a quick press with that button here this button here you can turn on G gps and turn it off if you want to fly in altitude hold mode by sliding it to the left but i'm going to keep it in on for gps mode and you can also fly this in headless mode by switching this one to the right but i'm going to turn headless mode off for this particular flight and these are trim button this is actually an operative <laughs> that button there and so is that one there they seem to be glued shut so you can't move them so that are the button those are the controls on the controller okay so let's fire this up open up the mgx bug go app and take it for flight so hope you enjoy this flight to turn it on all we need to do is slide in the battery all the way and then turn this lock switch to lock position and that can be a little bit of a trouble because you got to push this in there you go there i go and we'll set that as the headless mode direction i'm not really going to fly in headless mode folks just don't do that <laughs> and turning on the transmitter and we should be bound and uh, i'm going to open up the bugs go app and we're going to go into the compass calibration for this since this is a gps bird we're going to do a compass calibration always do a compass calibration folks i recommend that for all gps birds it's automatically in compass calibration when you turn it on. We should be noticing blinking green lights all the way around. And all we need to do is rotate horizontally like so. And then like so. And now we have Solid lights in, or solid green lights in the back, and red lights in the front. So we have compass calibration completed. And putting the drone back down on the ground. And then we check the number of satellites we got. We got 14 satellites, so we should be good to fly. And I am going to switch to video camera mode. Okay, and then we get a red light there, a red dot on the right in our uh, window. And let me make, also verify that I am recording. I am recording so right now I'm going to stop or start video recording of the camera on the drone and we're going to start the motors by down and out oh, oh I'm sorry we start the motors by pressing the red button I forgot red button 
and then we give it throttle and it takes right to the air. Let's turn it to the left, get into the camera and say, how do you like my or shirt today, folks? This is a nice bright one so you can really see me. Okay, the first thing, since this now has follow me capability, let's try that out. Coming over here and selecting, oh wait, let's let that car go by here. There's a car coming by. We'll go over this way first. Before I even do that, let the guy go by. All right. And now I am going to select follow me in the app and start to follow me. Yes. Okay, let's see this thing follow. Is it following? It is. It's actually doing a good job. Now, it is following my phone. It's following the GPS in my phone, folks. So that's how it knows which way I'm going. And it's the kind of follow me like DJI, DJI products does. It's like being pulled on a string. <laughs> so if you go this way, it's, it's going to follow me. It's going to turn and then follow me some more. <laughs> it's actually doing a good job. I like it's follow me. So, follow me does work. Let's turn off that follow me. And next thing is circle me. Pressing circle me. And with point of interest, care, continuous circle clockwise around the pre preset point at 10 meters. So yes. So it's gonna be circling, making a 10 meter circle of whatever it's pointing at, which is me right now. And it's doing a nice job of circle me too. So those are the two new features. It also has waypoints, but there's a problem with waypoints, and I'm gonna show you that problem here shortly after it does this 360 degree circle. I'm gonna stop it. And let's stop circle me right there. And we'll go into map mode. And the problem with circle me, or with, with this waypoints is, is um, there's no maps. Google Maps does not work with this. So let's, let's uh, zoom out a bit. The green marker that you see is me, and the drone is the drone symbol on the screen here. And I'm gonna go up a bit higher for this. And we're gonna hit waypoints, and I am going to hit uh, fly to point right now. I'm just gonna fly over there, and then hit submit, and then hit yes. And it's gonna fly to that point that I just drew on the map, fly over my head. And that's the point. Okay, so let's zoom out a bit more. And let's hit uh, waypoints again. And this time we're gonna draw some waypoints. We're gonna have it fly a circle around us. Like that. And then hit submit. Submit. And hit yes. And it's gonna fly the circle. Let's hit record too while it's doing that. Okay, it's recording now. <laughs> there it is flying his waypoint route going to each one of those little dots and it stops at each one. Let's stop that. I don't like it flying like that. Uh, hit the waypoint mode. Let's stop that. Hit delete. And uh, let's draw a new one. Uh, from there, where's it at on my screen? Let's have it fly overhead to me, to the left, and like that, and then back to me. So, and then hit submit. And hit yes. And start the video again. It seems to stop the video each time you do this. You have to start it up again. Okay, let's find the waypoint route again. But again, MJX or MJX needs to update this app so that we can see uh, actually satellite view. I want to see this include satellite views with waypoints. So instead of just map view, I'd like to see satellite because when you're out here in the desert like I am. Um, there are no mapped roads, okay? Uh, and don't say that that's not the problem here. You know, if I zoom out all the way, you'll see that I'm not getting that road that's off in the distance over there. That's not even showing up in the Google Maps. It seems to be a problem, a bug in the app itself, uh, particularly in the USA. I don't know why. But it's still flying its route, going to the next waypoint. Then it's going to go to waypoint 8, stop there. Then it's going to go to waypoint 9. It should eventually end up on top of me. We'll find out. 
waypoint 9, then to 10, then 11 is me. Let's see if it comes back to me to complete the waypoint flight. And there we go. So the waypoints do work. It's just the maps don't. <laughs> okay, so I'm coming out of waypoint mode. Uh, we're going to start, uh, the recording is still going on. Let's go do distance flight. See how this thing flies off and, and how its FPV is. Boy, it's fast though. I like the original bugs. I mean, this thing is fast. Let's see how far we are here. Uh, where's, oh yeah, here we go. 83 meters. And I'm losing signal from my phone. Okay, I got it back. I want to head toward, uh, out in the desert there. Notice that we got a lot of visitors here today, out here in the desert. And the reason being, it is fall. And in fall, people come out here to ride their motorcycles in this area where I'm at right now. Okay, 169 meters, I had lost video. Got it back again. See all those people parked out there? <laughs> they come here every fall and winter, and they just camp out here to go ride their motorcycles in the local area. So, you know, that's cool. Okay, let's go out a little further. Let's see how far we can get to them there. 220 meters. Going up a bit higher. 278 meters. 290 meters seems to be the range here. It's starting to beep. So let's do a return to home. Hitting the return to home button from there. Come on back. It's not returning. Yeah, it's returning. There we go. 235, 226. It's coming back now. 218. So we were at the edge of its range out there. And also we were at the edge of its battery power. Um, when it hits the two bars and you're out farther than uh, 100 meters, it, it warns you and it tells you, uh, you know, hey, I'm pretty distant and I'm going to start heading back. I can still, I still have more flight time. It's just that these MJXRC controllers, they give you an annoying beep um, to warn you when you're half, at half battery power, even though you might have a lot more battery power. Now he's pretty far up there. How high is that? That's uh, 69 meters. He's got to descend from, from up there at 69 meters. But has he started his descent yet? 54, 53, he's coming back down. Descends rather slowly. <laughs> I guess that's to avoid vortex ring state. And 37 meters, still dropping, still coming down. And we're, for the remainder of the flight, we're just going to fly it up close. I'll probably do some more follow me, just to demonstrate it's follow me. I want to see how much flight time we actually get before it actually forces itself to land. But this one here, I want to see how close its landing is. Can I turn it toward me while it's coming down? Yes, I can. And holy moly, that's close. <laughs> and it slides away from the pad. Okay. One more flight. This time we're going to finish it off with follow me. Starting the motors again. And let me stop, start and stop the video camera. Video cameras. Or actually, I haven't done any photos yet. Let's take off to the air. Give it some throttle. All right, boy, that takes off fast. Okay, go into camera, camera mode, and taking a picture. Get a little closer. Take another picture. Take another picture. One more. And then go back to video camera mode. Video camera mode. Starting the video camera. Video camera is recording and selecting follow me one more time. Hitting yes. Follow me. <laughs> Let's take a walk around this area. This was once a campground also for these uh, visitors from Los Angeles. Except the uh, problem was is they're doing a lot of uh, disposal of their waste <laughs> in this area. And, um, the Rangers more or less forced them to go over there. The Bureau of Land Management, actually. <laughs> but hey, this is doing a good job of following me. Let's go up a little bit higher. We'll just walk around the area until it lands itself or returns to home. Either one. Which comes first? I want to see its total flight time. 
So we're ending this flight tab by doing a walk in the desert. I hope I don't want to trip, trip over myself here. Old man running again. <laughs> I like this, follow me. You could probably, you know, the way, how, this thing is really fast drone. So, you know, you could probably, if you had a motorcycle or a car, and say you were out here in the desert, this would probably keep up with you very easily. In fact, I'm gonna have to do a follow-on flight to demonstrate that, because I got a feeling this would be a great follow me drone. The only problem with it is, we're going uphill. Notice as we go uphill, it's getting lower and lower to the ground. So it's it's maintaining barometer altitude hold. It's not, you know, doesn't know how far it is above the ground. So eventually, if you're in a hilly area, don't follow me with this, it would eventually impact the ground. That's why I'm walking up here, just to see that. Seeing it coming down lower and lower. I'm walking uphill. And right now it's low. Okay, so let's walk back again to our takeoff point. Again, we're flying this until we run out of battery power. I still got two bars. Still showing two bars on this. That's another improvement MGX ought to think about is this drone still has tons of battery power, but it's giving me a battery warning because it's at 50%, and that's annoying. MGX really should uh, correct that issue. You know, you don't need to be beeping for five minutes. Okay, there it goes, doing its automatic return to home on low battery. Let's see how well it does it. This is a low battery return to home. Let's go back over there. But again, yeah, that 50% battery warning, I recommend they just uh, eliminate that. <laughs> That's just annoying. Look at the geese up in the sky, folks. The geese have returned to this area. They come here every every uh, winter, actually fall, they, they come here. Look at them circling up here. You can't see them, I hope. I hope you can see them, they're pretty neat. But there it is landing. Boy, this does nice return to home and landing. And you know why? Because this is GPS GLONASS, not just GPS. Okay, stopping the video. Using both GPS and GLONASS. Okay, so we're done there. I'm gonna disconnect the drone. Video is recorded. I'm plugging the drone and turning off the controller. So that's the new MJX Bugs 2 SE with now with Circle Me, Follow Me, and Waypoints. <laughs> that's a dang good job. I liked it. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out. <laughs>